I do. Yup. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. Ah. Oh, hold on. Ah. Oh. Oh. No. Nope. Stop. Hi, I'm Courtney Act, and today we're talking about consent, a crucial and sexy part of sex and relationships. So if you consent, keep watching. Any romantic or sexual relationship from flirting right up to sex is about consent. And that's because it takes two to tango. Sex is about two or more people enjoying themselves, not just one. If all you care about is yourself, then might I suggest the latest craze, masturbation. Now, if you're confused about consent, then just keep it simple. Can I kiss you? Do you want to? Do you like that? Can I keep going? If the answer is yes, mm, that feels good. Do it now. Yes, queen. Then get into it. If the answer is, um, I don't know. No, thank you. Then the answer is no then you should stop what you're doing. In the heat of the moment with hormones pumping through your body, it's easy to try and encourage someone with a go on or a don't worry about it, try it. If you love me, you'll let me. But if someone has said no or indicates that they want you to stop, you must. And remember, you or your partner are entitled to a change of mind at any point during sexual activity. If you all of a sudden decide that you want to stop what you and your partner are doing, you have every right to. And on the flip side, if someone changes their mind, then you need to respect that. Consent is sexy. There'll be other opportunities with that partner or other partners in the future. And respecting your partner's wishes and body is not only sexy, it's the law. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. At the very least, go with asking instead of assuming. Another important point is this. Silence is not consent. If you're having sex and your partner looks like this, survey says they're not consenting. Also remember that alcohol needs to be taken into consideration. If someone is too drunk to speak without slurring their words, they're also too drunk to give consent. So if your partner spent the night on a date with Johnny Walker or Jose Cuervo, there's no room for a threesome that night. This might seem obvious, but if your partner is unconscious, then they're not capable of giving consent and you should not engage in anything sexual with them. In the end, consent is the only option, which should make making the right choice all the time easy. Now I consent to you watching me in single AF on MTV where I'm gonna fly all around the world looking for love. Bye.